One of these days, we should let Darkseid flood and all the shit can float out. Come in. Come in. I'm very pleased you can follow directions on the back of a card. It is the basis for us getting along famously. Of course, with an establishment like this, we're practically in the yellow pages under Crusaders. Richard Sonak. So, you heeded our call to arms. You have questions, I can furnish you with answers. Some answers. To begin with, you haven't strayed into some atrocious Dan Brown airport paperback. We are not the Knights Templar. That particular appellation went out in the 1300s along with page boy haircuts and burnings at the stake. No, we run a 21st century, well, let's say a forward-facing organization, but one with its strength in ancient bonds of tradition, in loyalty, in blood, and to be perfectly frank, in a sizable private army. Our firm guidance is needed to save the world from itself. We have kept the matters of squabbling secret societies and loathsome dimensions discreet. Until the shadows began to peel back across the globe. Until these darkest of days came upon us. Now, the evidence is on television for pity's sake. We are at war. Might will make right and it will fall upon us to judge the correct application of might. It falls upon you as a soldier of the Templars. Show me that you have the will, and we can teach you the way. Your remarkable powers can be honed and controlled, at least to less disastrous effect on property values. There is a private training area which we have reinforced for just that purpose. Come back and see me after. What can I do for you? how you get your instructions and submit your reports. Don't go off the grid. You'll find that nobody here likes a loose cannon. Go on now. <clears throat> Initializing field performance module. DNA encoding recognized. Syncing. Sync complete. Field performance module online. From now on, this is the most important room in the world for you. It's a place where you can try out all your newfound power without risk of hurting yourself. With the help of a few props, we've done our best to make the environment as realistic as possible. The demons are tied up, but they bleed the same. You'll find a diverse selection of weapons for you to practice and get comfortable with. Work hard, channel your anima correctly, and you'll find the one that suits you. And if you ever wish to explore other paths, you should return here.
The time has come to discuss your upcoming excursion to the colonies. I'm afraid it's business, not pleasure. Recently, a small island community on the New England coast dropped off the map. You can disregard the tiresome government cover-ups. There are dark forces at play. Solomon Island is a rock with infamy. In the past, it was trafficked by the Illuminati before they joined the rush to New York. You should be aware that we have history with the Illuminati, acrimonious history. Of course, under the flag of truce, we have spat and made up, and now we are the closest of enemies, all smiles above the table and drawn knives beneath it. Illuminati are reckless and cannot be relied upon to clean up their own messes. We must find the root of whatever doom has come to Solomon Island. But let me stress that this is not a rescue operation. Should there be survivors, you cannot announce that you've been chosen to deliver anyone from evil. Joan of Arc did, and look where that got her. Our goal is the salvation of all mankind, not on a case-by-case -case basis. I understand that may stick in your throat, but, well, halos are fading all over town now that there is so much more at stake. Leave as soon as you can. Your travel arrangements have already been made at the Eldwick Underground. I'll be in touch. Chop, chop. Is this some sort of attempt to fraternize? Well, I won't stand for it. Never mind me. You do well to worry a little more about yourself. How you dress, how you carry yourself. I mean, who are you? Are you anyone at all? You do well to learn not to pry into people's personal affairs here at Temple Hall. We're not all of us Richard Sonak. We're not all fond of talking about ourselves. Yes. You should know that I am internally busy, but for my sins, I prefer a more civilized mode of correspondence work. than rsonic at the Templars dot org. So while my time is limited, my door will always be cautiously ajar. Your smooth transition into the Templars is among my top priorities, certainly in the upper percentile. Should you be unsure of the correct conduct in any situation, come to me in the first instance. We can speak in confidence and largely without judgment. I am courting accusations of bias here, but you have made the right choice by coming to us. The proper choice. The other societies are barely capable of governing themselves, let alone the world. What we possess above them is not measured in wealth, land, or resources. As if in some cosmic game of risk, it is conviction. Our mission is, as it always has been, the destruction of evil in all its forms. Do not go gentle. Remember, all eyes are on us now, so shoulders back and fear nothing. You're running around like a headless tourist. God!
Hello? Yes? Now this is the Hollow Earth. Agartha. I do hope you're not here for the local service. It's running somewhat tardy. And by my watch, it's... 100 years overdue at quarter past the hour. Judging from the cut of you, you're more of a world traveller. Well, you've come to the right place. Now, this underground realm, like the great British rail system, is the very model of efficiency. Agartha's thoroughfares sprout from the tree of life and connect back to the surface. Distance and time bend in here. Why, you can cross the globe in a brisk walk. Of course, it's perfectly safe. No one's entirely sure how it works. Quite bedeviled the science boffins, but I'm assured they have their top men on it. Top men. Now you'll need one of these. Mind your fingers. Thank you. Fascinating devices. Fortunately, there's still enough to hand out like sweets. Consider it your anchor to the Hollow Earth. It can return you here in a flash, proverbially and quite literally. Well then, onwards to the New England coast, what? I suppose one day my services will no longer be required to man the platforms. Modernization encroaches on us all. Ticket machines indeed. Good for addition, I don't doubt. Always with the correct change. Yet somewhat lacking in the human touch. <laughs> like my thunderous mechanical companions here. Oh, I doff my cap to them though. For how many centuries they patrolled these stations alone, who can say? I pride myself on punctuality and dedication, but they are the original article. What faces they must have seen. Many gentlemen explorers, ladies too, have stepped before you into Agatha's honeyed halls. That pleasant Norwegian chap, for one. Armandson. Yes, you're in fine company. Fine company indeed. Oh, I vouch a ticket machine wouldn't tell you that. You'll get used to the balmy temperature. It's for the bees. They prefer it. Their honey is remarkable. Though the aftertaste... a little like machine oil. Her Majesty once commented favorably on Agatha to me. A work of quite miraculous craftsmanship. I believe to tour it was one of her few joys after Albert passed. Well, try not to approach all this as something unnatural. It may not follow the, uh, accepted theories of the Earth's consistency. I assure you, though, it is very much a part of our world. Over the years, these halls have expanded and contracted with the growth of the tree. Like breathing, I expect. Fresh branches find their way to the surface, to many different surfaces. The older growth, further down, leads to other places in other times. Stacked like those Russian dolls that were all the rage in Paris. Why, I encountered myself as a young man once. <laughs> Curious thing. Topside speaking, I admit to falling a touch behind the times. Out of date. Well, you understand, though, a massive flora mechanical network won't run itself. One always finds something needing doing down here. I'm certainly more of a groundsman than an engineer. And were we vanished from the world, perish the thought, Agatha would still perpetuate. A golden age without tarnish. <sighs> I say without tarnish, but in confidence, troubling events are afoot. Tremor 
echoes like a distant thunder, outpourings of an horrific black water. I believe it gathers far beneath us in great reservoirs. And yet I haven't the nerve to put that theorem to the test. Well, listen to me go on about the rot in the tree of life. You have so many pressing cloak and dagger affairs to see to up there in the world of man. I shouldn't think there's anything to worry about. Not yet. Toodle pip! <laughs> <laughs> 